So here we are at uh, Bickland Park. Uh, it's uh, Cornwall in the uh, unusual coloured strip of blue in the sense that we're used to playing, seeing them playing the, the gold and black. It's against the opponents who are wearing the, the yellow and black today. Wiltshire, Southwest County's Championship game. It's Mark Rapsy alongside me, summarising for Pier and Films this afternoon. And the first thing, Mark, is, well, welcome, but w Wiltshire only got 10 players. Yeah, a bit of a shock at this level, Dave, isn't it? To uh, see a team coming down with 10 players, mate, a county team uh, at that. But, um, but yeah, beautiful afternoon though, Dave, at Bickland Park, as always, mate. Uh, proper proper football ground, mate, isn't it, for the lads to, to play on. And hopefully, as the game progresses, Dave, they can make the most of the, the man advantage and get a good win, mate. Now, the thing is, uh, this is the final group game being played today. Basically, Cornwall just got to avoid defeat so that they end up third and then play Gloucestershire in the uh, playoff for the Mick Parry Trophy as uh, Cornwall breaking forward. Good play there by uh, Jack Hooper. What have we got? Seven minutes on the clock. Uh, Summariser Rapsi's finished his chip, so we <laughs> might have a chance to uh, hear his thoughts in a second as uh, Hans throws the ball back to Jewel. So, Mark, uh, opening stage is um, nothing too exciting to, to write home about. No, it gets worse than that, Dave. I actually slept in a in Troy City Football Club, mate, for four hours to be here today, mate, after me night shift in Troy, mate, just to sit next to you, mate, but at Bickland Park. But, but yeah, Dave, as you'd expect, mate, a little, um, little bit cagey in the first sort of seven minutes. And, I'm sure it will start to stretch out as the game progresses, mate. Hopefully, like we said earlier, mate, hopefully the... Oh, have a chance, but Yeah, hopefully the boys will make that... On, it's a hot day, Dave, isn't it? So hopefully, you know, if one of them, them gets a knock as well, you know, they could go down to nine or whatever, Dave. Hopefully we'll take advantage of that later on. So Cornish on the ball. Knocks it to Hooper. No, Wiltshire... No, not exactly steaming forward because of lack of numbers, but that was a run by George Craig, which was eventually stopped by Harrison Jewell. <laughs> now, Jack, uh, Alex uh, Wharton has the opportunity to have a, an effort on goal after a bad back pass by Owen Taylor but the first chance of the game yeah great pace from uh, Alex Wharton there Dave um, got got the other the, you know wrong side of the defender from the defender's point of view great pace got him in cut across the defender did everything well but a bit too much of an angle mate to, to shoot across the keeper from there along with the header out no Tonkin tries to knock it on to Cornish but Cornish had run and forward expecting a pass uh, deeper into the Wiltshire defence as it's uh, Taylor for Wiltshire comes inside and gets the shot at goal but just over the crossbar Jack Stevens with a uh, little bit of space in front of him come forward for Wiltshire but the ball goes straight at Michael Barton as Cornwall break forward Hooper comes inside of Craig then the ball towards that far post and it was uh, Wharton with the uh, Outside of his left foot, but no power and no direction. No, I think he went with it with his wrong foot, actually, Dave. Jewel. Difficult bounce for the Cornwall skipper there to deal with, and eventually did. And then Hooper. Coming inside, shaking off uh, one challenge, passes it to Tonkin. Tonkin with the oh. shot on goal, which was touched onto a Wiltshire defender. So another corner. Cornwall lose out again as uh, Duffy coming forward with it, but referee's seen something there. Looks as if the referee's injured. Yes, the referee uh, hasn't waved on. Uh, a trainer yet? Yeah? It does look as if um, 
The referee, Mr. Darcy, <laughs> has had enough of this, and uh, Steve Lawrence could well be the uh, taking over the uh, line. Uh, Tucker to Alex Wharton. Wharton uh, feeds Morgan Kuhn. Inside to Tucker, and then uh, across to Ben O'Connor. Looks to have a shot and a uh, good effort. Yeah, just dipped a bit late, Dave, didn't it? I think he was, if he's five yards further out, might have hit the target with that. Still, though, Wiltshire putting a little bit of pressure on the home side as uh, Palmer flicks it on but now Cornwall can they break forward Hooper Harrison Jewell kept his run going Tucker first time to Morgan Kuhn chests it down Kuhn running out of defence oh and then the shot is well over and nearer to the Wiltshire coach behind in the car park yeah I said they've parked the bus Dave for well, Kuhn's hit, hit the bus there mate not he George Tucker again, wins the ball back off the... Wow, that just about sums it up. Tucker's effort hits the post and comes out and we can't pick up the rebound. <laughs> so Owen Taylor with the free kick. Wiltshire must be about the most men they've had forward for the whole game as the uh, kick comes in. And it is there, it is in the net. Wiltshire have scored to make it 1-0. And that sums up the game. Cornwall have not been able to break down Wiltshire and well into added on time. The visitors take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, you, you called it, Dave. You said you've been saying it for about the last 20 minutes, mate. It, oh, my God, mate. You know, we, we was unlucky with, you know, George Tucker hitting the inside of the post. But to be honest, Dave, our final ball's not been good enough. Our set pieces ain't been good enough and our passing ain't been good enough. So, and we've got caught with a real sucker punch mate and we a real kick in the teeth. <laughs>